Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Tuesday night call. Our Tuesday. Again, I did it. Monday night call. It's still Monday. And um, we're here tonight. We have a really fun um, topic to talk about. It's really important. And this attendance is a great example of why we need to talk about this <laughs> because it's summer is approaching. <laughs> and so thank you, all of you, for who are on tonight. But I do have to say, oh, look who's there with you, Christiane. Hi, Lisa. How fun. Um, I do have to say the summer can either like explode your business or really sabotage it. And it's really just up to you in terms of how you embrace it and what kind of mindset you take going into it. But I think it's to take, it's important to take a stance regardless, because otherwise, if you just leave it to default, you'll kind of wake up in September and go, what just happened? Right. And so um, my encouragement to everybody is just jot down some notes tonight, ask some questions of yourself and us, you know, as we go through this, make it interactive. And let's try to be as constructive as we can so that we can set each other up for just a really awesome outcome, you know, because um, it's, it's one of those funny things that September is a great big growth month for us. But like I said, if you're not prepared for it, a lot of times you just kind of get caught off guard. So, um, okay. So first and foremost, Janie had posted in our Monday morning calls a really um, good question. We're doing these momentum Monday calls for um, a bunch of people who are jumping on and having goals and really want to move themselves forward. And I'm enjoying them a lot. And I think it's really, it's helped me kind of focus my activities and my efforts. And I, I'm getting a lot of good feedback from you guys as well. But one of the things that she had posted and asked some questions about was her calendar. And she showed a picture um, of her calendar and circled, you know, which um, spaces of time, which honestly was a lot more than I have. <laughs> you know, I was kind of like, wow, that's a lot of time you get to work with. That's awesome. But what her point was, is how do I incorporate that time to be, you know, productive, right? And, and what my response is always to people is you want to focus on what we get paid for, okay? When you have shorter amounts of time, you have to get much more strategic to be that much more effective. And the summer is a great analogy for all of this because even though we may have more quote unquote free time because it's summertime, we tend to fill it up with a lot of busy stuff and a lot of social stuff and a lot of, you know, um, travel and whatnot, right? So what I want to encourage you guys is just like kind of taking a proactive approach to sectioning out your calendar and making a conscious list of the things that are going to propel you forward, okay? So that if you have, if you're in a space where you don't have as much time as you normally do, or if you have more time than you can, just really kind of taking your attention towards the things that are going to pay you, right? Because that's the stuff that's going to build your business and move it forward. So Things like, um, well, first and foremost, we get paid to talk to people, right? <laughs> That's basically it. I mean, the more conversations we have, the more you win. I mean, it's just, it's just kind of how it rolls. So if you're talking to the same five people over and over and over again, right, then you're going to get X amount far deep in your business, right? But if you're adding five new people every week and that's an intention of yours, um, then you have a lot more opportunity to work with, right? A lot more options. In addition to that, the second layer of activity is the follow-up. So again, still getting paid and paid to talk to people. So the conversations in the first kind of tier of activity is opening up, you know, those, the, the communication, the activity, the maybe sending a video, that kind of stuff. Follow-up comes into play when there's, you know, the activity behind that. So how are things going? What did you think? How did you like the, the event? You know, do you want to come to this it also, you know, that kind of stuff. Can we meet for coffee? So moving those pieces forward through like the red light, you know, yellow light into the green section of that system. But the points being that, you know, the more we tell our story, the more people will connect with you, the more follow-up you'll be given is the way I look at it, right? If I share my story, I know that I have opportunities to kind of expand upon that. So it's one, meeting people, two, engaging with them, having conversations, three, telling your story, four, following up, five, sending tools, and then repeat, 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 right? Until they kind of move in one direction or the other. Is that making sense? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't want to like state the obvious, but sometimes it's important to kind of break it down so simply. <laughs> We're like, okay, that's what we get. So events are wonderful, but in the summertime, I'm going to be honest with you, I have a really hard time getting people there. Like it's just, you know, unless it's some kind of like beach event or summer barbecue or that kind of stuff, I try to create, I know Danielle's doing a good job right now of doing like family sponsored events, like where it's like family focused and, 
it's all in the community around like social happy living and all that kind of stuff. And I think that's really creative and strategic, you know, more so than like our normal typical stuff. So you may have to adjust some of your behaviors to get more people there. Right. And I find that one-on-ones are super fun. We were talking this morning about one of the things that I'm going to do is just, it's something that I can do to fuel my family, give them the time and the attention that they need, let them have a little bit of fun and keep putting people into my funnel. So every week, every Wednesday, I'm going to shoot for Wednesdays. We're going to go to the beach. We just go to the beach every Wednesday. It's free. <laughs> Pack sandwiches. And I invite different families to join. So I'm my, one of my goals is to like literally have play dates every Wednesday with different families, maybe one or two families, so I can still be in an intimate type of a conversation space with them. But the kids can play. We can be there. And it's in a fond and um, like-minded situation. See how that works? So it's like something to look forward to, something to plug into, something that's consistent that I can do, right? But all going back to just getting in front of more people over and over and over again. I made the biggest mistake my first, um, my first summer in the business. I had, le- I think it was February or March that I had lost my job and kind of you know, moved into that space of like, what am I going to do? And then it was in the summer that I decided, okay, I'm going to launch this and take it seriously. And I remember feeling really stuck. I remember feeling sitting in my office at my computer, wanting to make calls and having a really hard time because I was like, nobody wants to take anything seriously. They just want to go play, but I want to work because I want to build this business and I need a paycheck. And I was really struggling, like trying to figure that whole thing out. And then finally, and this is Buffy right when I met you, I was like, okay, I just need to let this thing go. Like my expectations are not right right now. I have to just like go where the people are, you know? So I just, they started a walking group. I joined the walking group, you know? It's like, okay, I could do that, you know? And then, you know, it was, we're going to go to the pool in the afternoons. I was like, okay. And it felt so awkward for me because I was so used to working this corporate job where I had to be so serious and be there at a certain time and sit at my desk and, you know, make X amount of calls and do all these things. And what I learned about this business is that it really has so much more of a life of its own. And, um, you know, this weekend was such a great example of that. It was one of those weekends. I was like, okay, you know what? Saturday, I'm going to take off. I'm going to take the kids. We're going to go to the farmer's market, just like kick back, like turn my phone off. I literally walked away from that farmer's market with five new contacts, two new business prospects, like one new opportunity to put a, I'm telling you a booth up. You, you couldn't even make it up if you tried. Like I, and I literally said to myself, I'm going to take the morning off and not work. And here I am. I walked right into all this opportunity. So my point being, again, you know, like all these like things, if you put yourself in the right space and you really just, you know, really all we're doing is just sharing the same thing over and over again, right? I mean, we all have the commonality and the talk track that fruits and vegetables are great for you. The more you put in your body, the better you're going to be. And here's a great solution. (laughs) You know, and so it's just, I just get curious about people and they get curious about me and doors fly open. And that's kind of how it works. So, you know, what are those public activities that you can be going out and having fun in? Because when you're having fun, your light is turned on. And when your light's turned on, you're attracting more people, right? And that's kind of how the whole thing starts. So it's how do we put ourselves in a space where we are the best versions of ourselves, where we've turned that light on and really just like kind of stores open, right? And, and I think it's really just all starts with being happy. You know, what are the things that do that make you happy, right? So I, I really encourage you guys to be somewhat strategic about your summers and write down like some of the things that like look in your area. Like I've started really asking myself, Gina sent me a, a link to this. I don't, I'll botch the name, but it was some kind of like, um, you know, four day workshop for whole food fanatics or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, we need to be there. She's like, we need to be there. How are we going to do this? I'm like, I don't know. Let's figure it out, you know? But like that kind of stuff, right? Like how, like how do we get in front of more like-minded people? And just so you can be in a space of likeness. I mean, I walked right into the farmer's market and who's staring me in the face with this gal who's growing honeybee stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love your honey. <laughs> you know, <laughs> talking, it's like $14 a thing. I mean, it's so expensive. <laughs> like I said, I got a really big hill and I really attract a lot of bees. Is there a way we could like put one of these things there and can I grow honey for, I mean, I'm not kidding you. Like this is the conversation that we had and it opened up so many doors, right? So it's like, you just never know, but it's, it's being in those spaces that's really gonna 
start help opening. And I have to tell you, getting involved in your community, you know, I'm fighting for this like whole tennis club thing, which I know I only mentioned a teeny bit about, but I have been really pioneering this like movement to grassroots movement to keep a local treasure in place and keep the homes out. And I just got six more emails from people that I have never met before. They're owners of businesses, different lawyers, like all these different high powered contact people. But because we share a common goal, we share a common mission, we have that same draw, like I have instant credibility with them because I'm leading this crusade. So my point being putting yourself into spheres of circles of influence where you can then, you know, be attractive for other people or be a voice for other people. You know, every time you do that, it just, it brings so much more credibility to what you do and, and everything that my emails, my phone numbers, my everything has juice plus on it. So of course, you know, I'm, I'm tagging and branding myself, you know, as we go through those interactions, cause it goes back and forth. So, um, Okay, so what I was going to just say, um, and then I'm going to turn it to Danielle because she's got some really good ideas too, is um, it's all about the fun. So when we're having fun, our business is growing. I, it's just every time, right? So just really focus on that, but also being intentional at the same time about the things that you want to accomplish through your business. So sometimes what that looks like for me is, okay, so I've got a really busy, fun week ahead of me. I'm going to set the intention of meeting five new people that I can add to my funnel, you know, and start conversations with by Friday. And maybe that's just the, the week for the, you know, the goal for the week. Right. Um, the, the getting into more conversations with more people. I kind of talked about that a lot. Um, and then just really focusing again on what pays you and events are really important, but if you're talking to a hundred people to get, you know, five people to an event, what about the 95? I just want you to think about that. What about the 95? Like, don't miss the opportunity. If you're going to take the time to talk to people, don't always make the focus only about getting them someplace. You can really do so much work in just, you know, talking to them and moving them along, like in other ways, right? Sharing a video, that kind of stuff, setting a one-on-one -on -one coffee date, doing something. So I have a bunch of people that I need to follow up with for our event on the 30th. And a lot of my talk track is all about that. It's like, okay, so I'm going to look at my calendar over the next six weeks and say, okay, I know things are crazy right now, but let's put a play date on the calendar. What park do you guys like to go to? Okay, good. Let's go do that. You want to bring another family? Okay, let's just get it out there, right? I already set something up today with the, the gals. I had just done the rainbow, eat the rainbow and all that stuff for our kindergarten class. Like they took that all home. And then, like I said, let's get together before the end of school. It gives me another exposure before we wrap up this year. You know, so always just trying to like move that ball forward and, you know, add new people and start new things. And then what happens is you get so much activity going that you're like, oh my gosh, and people start calling you and it's pretty fun. So the summer is a really awesome time for all that is just my point. Um, okay, Danielle, I just gave a mouthful. How about you? <laughs> They're like, stop talking. <laughs> I, I don't have as much to say. But <laughs> you can tell I'm excited. I really like this time of year. It's great. <laughs> I do think that, um, I do think the summer is a really good time. You know, I just ordered, I just stocked up on more of my, the gummy samples and I'm going to do single shake pack samples because now for us, you know, with school age kids, um, you know, we're nearing the end of the school year. I want to make sure I have things in hand. So when I am having conversations, I can put something in their hand in case I don't see them. You know, if I only see them at pickup or something or drop off, for example, I want to make sure I have stuff available. Um, and that obviously I always have my cell phone on me too. Like if I don't have their contact, that I can still exchange contact information to gather their information so that come summertime, I still can reach out to them because I do plan events throughout the summer. And and it is, it's completely hit or miss, like regardless of the time of year of events truly, but there are people that don't go anywhere. <laughs> They're like me. <laughs> there are people that still hang around and, or like, you know, their kids are in camp and, um, okay, we need to wait a minute. So their kids are in camp. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, <laughs> I need to wait a minute. And there are other moms that are around either looking for something to do. So whereas Melissa is looking to kind of, cause she's with her kids during the day, mm -hmm. like a family outing, 
I'm kind of looking to have maybe like a day where I'm doing like a mom's kind of outing, you know, like pick a day, pick a location, moms, let's go meet up at the beach <laughs> while our kids are at camp or let's go for a walk or Trader Joe's has really good wine in a can now. It's like spritzer. <laughs> Perfect beach. Like Any mom would show up for that. Yeah. Sangria and solutions. That's what it was. Sangria and solutions. You know, getting out in someone's backyard. So I do like to do summertime events. I'm losing my train of thought a little bit. Forgive me. Um, I have no help. I'll be up in a minute. Um, and, uh, <laughs> but I do, I like, I really, going back to what Melissa said about go where the people are, like, and go to do things that make you happy. Mm -hmm. Like, that could not be more spot on. Like, find groups, go to meetups. If, you know, if you have free time and your kids are going to camp, what is something that you can do that is going to fuel you to bring your energy up, to keep you excited? Because when you're excited and you feel more happy and engaged, you're going to have better conversations with people. Right, Greta, you have a pool. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pool party. Go awesome. <laughs> Let's go meet up at the pool. Let's go have some, you know, mocktails or, or real cocktails and, and talk about, you know, solutions or just be in relationship, right? Because maybe it's still in the stage where you're going out and you're meeting new people and you need to take that time to build up the relationship, do the whole get to know you thing. Um, and again, going back to the calendar, you want to have things on your calendar so that you have something yeah. to plug people into. And it doesn't have to be a ton of things, but you want to have something on there and partner right. with your teams who are local around you so you can, you know, utilize the resources that are there. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Buddy system, I mean, it, it always works the best that way, right? When you have two or more saying the same thing. So that's super helpful. So like I might set up a, you know, like a, a beach outing with one of my current customers and one of my prospects, right? And their kids and bring them and bring some of the samples and like, you know, chit chat or whatever. It's of course going to come up like, you know, that kind of stuff. That would be one way to do it. Um, the other thing too is like I find that in the summer people – don't be intimidated if they don't get back to you right away because they're relaxed. <laughs> like a lot of times they're on vacation mode. It's all good. Like the more relaxed you respond to, like it's better. A lot of times you'll be doing all that work all summer long and September you've got 15, 20 orders. Like it just happens, you know, where it's like everybody kind of, if you, if you're positioning yourself correctly and you're kind of setting it up for that, um, you know, it, it can happen in that way too. And I, go ahead. I was just going to say one thing for, for those that really are looking to continue to be steady with your business or grow your business and stay active. Like the best thing you could do is to stay plugged into your business during the summer. Like it, it sounds like it's the summer, but you truly can do this business from anywhere. So if you are going on vacation, like, of course you want to respect your family time and be mindful of that. You know, you deserve it. Absolutely. But so much can be done from your cell phone. You don't have to completely disengage. And people are more relaxed. And to Melissa's point too, you know, if you don't hear back from people right away, it's okay. But you're still planting all these seeds. So come mm -hmm. September, yeah, like you've been you've been staying the course the whole summer long. And whether they're engaged and coming to your events, they still know what's going on. So come September when they are ready to take action in something and get their health back on track because they were partying all summer long they know to come to you because you've been staying the course and there's somebody that they want to, they want to follow you, right? You've been making these healthy choices throughout the whole summer. You're someone they can trust because yeah. you are staying steady on, on the course. So truly, if you're looking to grow your business, you want to continue it regardless of, you know, summer. totally. And I think it's a really great time to start up reps too. So I, I think this is such a good time to talk about like the business with people and invite them in because I think for one, I tend to have more time to spend with my reps and I love loving on reps when they first start up. You know, I think it's a really great process. I think it's important that they get the attention that they need, but in these summer months, you can be a little bit more casual. You know, it's not, I don't have this crazy insane pick up and drop off schedule like I do now, you know? And so there's a lot more 
like work around there. Like Jenny, our Tuesdays could be like our Tuesday, like mastermind amazing day. And <laughs> I'm picking on her cause she's on tonight, <laughs> but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it could be just so rad and the kids are playing in the back with a water balloon fight or whatever, you know? And like, that could just be a, a time for us to have good energy and invite people to it. Right. So, um, I think that the team thing really can explode over the summer and that's, that's kind of a fun place to be. So maybe even that's an intention, you know, really focusing on teams, sprinkling a ton of seeds for all the customer stuff, which always catches up with you at some point. And not to say that you're not going to get customer orders because you will, but it just, it tends to have like a different life of its own, you know, but don't like let people go. Just make sure that you're aware that it's, it's just summer. Right. And so we'll see how that goes. But I know a lot of pieces that people and our team tends to grow during the summer if we have attention on it. And that's what it goes back to the, the initial point, which is like, you know, are you focused? Do you have a goal? That's why these Monday calls are so great. And I do encourage you, like there's a lot of people that are in there that are not participating actively. So I just want you to know, this is kind of a public service announcement. You haven't been contributing in two weeks in a row. I'm going to take you out of it until you're ready to come back in. And then you just come back in, you know, there's no judgment. It's just a, I want to stay true to the, the, purpose of the call, you know, which is to really keep people on track and keep them, you know, interacting with each other as we move forward through that. So just FYI. Um, but it, it is, it's, it's the kind of thing where, you know, set yourself up with, even if it's like a buddy check-in, you know, something that keeps you, oh my gosh, Danielle, you're so funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's got it going on boys, go to bed. <laughs> Poor mom. Um, Anyway, you, you see my point, like it can get like that. Right. So let's, yeah, have some fun. I find that I tend to have like lots of like, this is, we have a front porch. Those of you who have been to my house, you know, this, we have a front porch in the summer, everybody walks by. So it's a really easy thing to sit out at like eight o'clock at night when it's so nice out and just like people just walk up and down our street. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had about Jesus plus between eight and 11 PM, you know, just from people walking up and down our street because we're just out there being friendly, you know? So again, just putting yourself in a space where you're going to light up and smile and be in a good space. Um, okay. Questions. Let's open it up to you guys. What kind of questions, feedback? Is there anything that you've done over the summer that's really been helpful or um, any type of specific event that you've done that uh, you enjoyed doing and got a lot of people? Oh, Buffy, you did one. I'm calling you out, but I think it was in the summer. Maybe it was. What did I do? You did something. Wasn't it? Didn't you have like a really fun I just remember being outside around the barbecue pit. Wasn't that in a summer one night? Oh, fire pit of fun. That was so much fun. Like, that was like <laughs> such a great, there were so many people there. <laughs> like, it was, I thought that was such a good one. Yeah. And what did you do? To, like, how did you even invite people there? You just told them, come on over. We had s'mores. Remember that? It was like great. Yeah, it was, it was fire pit of fun and s'mores. It was just come and let's have a s'mores together. So I can, so I can <laughs> hang out with you. How it's, I mean, it's just something that I'm wanting to do monthly. I just haven't started it yet where it's just, you know, just, it's just to get a way to get people together. And it's so fun to hear, you know, even my neighbors on my street, I haven't had a s'mores in years. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's just a way to get people around and there's just something about the fire. I guess that is nostalgic for me that um, just it's not truth serum, but it just, it just brings you back to a, a happy place in my childhood, I guess. So I guess maybe having that, you know, you were talking about energy, mm -hmm. having that energy of just wanting to love on people and have them experience just a relaxing, fun evening to just chill. And uh, it's, it's kind of like a mini, um, just something about the fire, like just staring at the fire, having conversation where the whole rest of your world tends to disappear just for that time. Yeah. It just felt very like playful, you know what I mean? And I think it's in that playfulness that it's so attractive, right? Like it was just, it was really fun. And I feel like those women that were there, there were such great conversations that we had and so much connecting and I don't know. So that's like, that was like a really fun example of an event another like you know burgers and burgers and business I've heard um barbecue burgers and business or something like that like you can do stuff like that sometimes where it's like it's got a business flair and you do like address it and that's more of like a you know a, a focused type of an event but 
that's an easy way to get people there in the summer, especially the guys, you know, <laughs> right? So that's, that's kind of a fun one. Um, any other ideas? You know, I did, Melissa. What? Can you hear me? Yeah. It's Chris Hand, but it's pitch black. We're, Lisa and I are sitting in my car. <laughs> pitch black. Um, I did a, did a sangria and total thing. I remember we were all back there. That was, that was a lot of fun. That's all. I heard sangria. Yeah, that does sound like fun. It was sangria and solutions. It was sangrias and solutions. Sangria. And she had a whole taco. She had a whole taco, you know, all the fixings of the tacos. And she made, you know, red and white sangria. And everybody sat in her backyard and we made tacos and drank sangria or beer or whatever. So fun. And sat around, fun. you know, sat around the table outside, you know, sharing our stories and it was it was a lot of fun okay. i love it i love it we did i now that i'm saying remember we did the taco tuesdays at the golf course here like we have this golf course that serves tacos on tuesdays for like a dollar fifty or something stupid you know and we were like oh my gosh this is crazy so everybody just comes in gets her own tacos and sits down and then it was the same kind of thing sharing stories like we brought some products we brought you know some brochures some samples people could try stuff and it was such a beautiful like layout and it's, you know, on a golf course. I mean, it's super pretty, you know, it was just a really, that was kind of a fun, consistent thing. I think we did four or five, you know? Yeah. And it made it easy. Yeah. And I don't have to cook anything. So that's cool too. <laughs> the kids ran around on the green. I'm telling you, we had a blast, you know, it was fun. Um, can I, any other can ideas? I say, can I say something else too? Yes. Yeah. Can you guys, can you guys hear me? I don't know where I'm supposed to be talking, but now that's better. I was yeah. thinking about being away on vacation and what I sometimes do, and you're probably all going to think I'm crazy, but I do get up like a little earlier than everybody else when we're away sometimes, like not every day, but, but I, I try to set some time aside, even if it's just like 20 minutes and just go on my virtual office. So I'm not really like tapping into family time, but I'm setting that little time aside just to check over my orders or you touch, you know, because we know everybody's orders are popping up every day that they may be shipped within 10 days. So you got a very good point. That. Yeah. So I just kind of wake up either early or like say later on, we're all having some downtime. I may just say, I have to do a little work and I'll go inside and just take a look at my computer. Or if it's nighttime when the kids are kind of doing their own thing. I'll, I'll take a look at some of my own stuff. Another good, that's such a great point, Christian. And I so appreciate you bringing that up. And another great way to do this, if you are in the space where you're like, Hey, listen, I'm taking the summer off and this is what I'm going to do. And we're totally kicking back or whatever. Set your alarm on your phone on the 10th, the 20th and the 30th to check your, to check into your office so that you don't ship out. Cause it's, it's every 10 days of notification that will really help you protect from any returns and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that is another way to do it. But yeah, that's such a good point. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, any other points, thoughts, questions, summer related ideas? I'm in a good mood tonight. <laughs> I haven't had any wine or anything. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, if that's it, then I guess we get to wrap it up and say thank you and thank you for all hopping on i hope that was helpful and you know it's going to be it is going to be a fun summer but you know this is the kind of thing where if you need contact if you need your support just reach out you know don't don't expect um and don't kind of sit back waiting for people like be mm. just be proactive about it you know because because we do get into busy time and it's kind of fun i mean i go to the pool and i don't keep my phone out because it gets overheats and stuff you know what i mean that kind of thing so just you know put a boxer out in the morning and or whatever and um we're all around to kind of support you so i gotta get my kids tired so that they can sleep so i can get to the computer <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff <laughs> it's all good all right okay you guys well have a great night thank you so much for hopping you on too. you thank too <laughs> thanks bye, bye. 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 bye.